Nanu tugai rio, nusun tugai oshas, ken ni nemi tikne tongwa hahamanga los angeles, nunan nemi tikne tonaketepeke kushkatan, nutegu nemi tikne tikisate guatemala. I'm introducing myself in Nahuapipil. That's the language and the lineage that would be uh, from my mother's side. And we need to remember our roots and we need to speak it because it's the only way it's gonna survive. Reconnecting with my indigenous roots really began when I was a kid. I remember one point my mom distinctly said, you know, we don't have to go to church because the temple is inside of us. You seem to walk lighter. Me speaking this language feels like I'm finally landing on Earth. What makes me feel welcome in any space, when everybody in there is being authentically themselves and authentically representing even their own ancestral lineage, their own ancestral roots. And when we hear everybody speak in their own language or do their own traditions together, it allows me to be me. I just want to be authentically me and authentically comfortable all the time. I definitely identify as a two-spirit, non-binary person. I'm visibly brown for those people who are visually impaired. I'm short, I have dark hair, dark eyes, and I have a lot of tattoos. And that already by default, I know creates a lot of discomfort in people. But what I'm most excited about when I'm walking is that I might uplift somebody and maybe they'll feel inspired to be like, that's right, I can walk my own way. The act of urban planning is the act of understanding how do we take care of this earth? How do we steward our streets, right? And for me, having the youth really understand that, then they are the next urban planners. They are the next street stewards. What a lot of what our work is right now is to really get the youth to understand that those were the ancestors that for over 10,000 years took care of these lands, made sure that there was an equilibrium in the ecosystem. Danza has been really important for my partner, Ale, also known as Xochicoyot. They've been dancing for a long time and both of her kids grew up in the danza. For my partner, it's a very direct lineage. And for me, I want to support that. Actually, it is said that we are un continente y una cultura. We're relearning a lot of us as adults, both my partner and I, but our kids are being raised in these ways. And that to me is priceless. It is a way to break that intergenerational trauma. It is hope-filled, especially in a time where the earth is suffering. We have climate change. We're still in the middle of a pandemic. We're seeing a large income gap of inequalities. So for our kids to get grounded in something like this that can be healing, powerful and positive for the community, that just brings all the hope to move forward and to continue to organize and advocate for the rights of our people and the planet.